Hi, welcome to Theoretical Concepts with Mr. Skeins. This is uh, the second part in our series where we're discussing the musical devices, repetition, rhythmic variation, and all the way back here I have listed on the board sequence. So three musical devices that we use to extend a musical idea. What we want to do in this lesson is create our own musical warm-up combining our rhythm studies that we've used in class and one of our scales or scale patterns that we use in class. And by combining the two, we want to create a new warm-up that also utilizes one of our uh, musical devices for extending an idea. So by Friday, I want you to either put in paper verbally what you want the class to do, or you can put it on the staff and write it out uh, with, with notes. It's up to you. If you're not comfortable writing music on the staff yet, it's perfectly acceptable to write it out verbally what your warm-up is going to be. If you think back uh, in previous weeks during the class, we've done warm-up exercises where we're utilizing certain rhythm studies and the scale. And up to this point, We've tried to keep it very simple, you know, as simple as playing one rhythm on our scale, repeating the rhythm on each new pitch of the scale as we move up our ladder. We've combined different rhythms, changing pitch on each new rhythm, moving up. So there's a lot of different things you can do here. But let's just go through the steps for you to create your own warm-up. So the first thing I would do is I would choose a rhythm. Now, you know, if we just take one rhythm, and I believe this is uh, rhythm number uh, 29, yes, 29 on your rhythm studies here, 1 and 2, 3 and 4. If we just take that rhythm and repeat it, ob obviously we have repetition. Uh, if we apply it to the scale, we not only have repetition, but we have the device sequence that we talked about in the last video where we have the same musical idea being repeated at different pitch levels. And that would sound like this. You get the idea. And on up the scale. That's one warm-up that you could develop. Now, I'd like them to get a little more interesting than that. I mean, we don't want to make them so hard that it takes us three or four days to get it right. But something that's going to challenge everybody in class, but something that won't take us too long to, to organize upstairs in our head and ex execute on our instruments. So you could do something like uh, create a rhythmic variation where you're combining two rhythms that are very similar with one small difference and move up the scale. So you could take, and in this case I have up here number 29 and I have 32. The difference between these two rhythms is that rather than having you know the quarter note on two and four we have quarter rest on two and four. So you could do something like that. Uh, you could have us use every other note of the scale using the first note third note, fifth note, eighth note. So it could sound like this. If I were doing, uh, let's just say we're just, if I'm just using a uh, rhythm 32 here and using the first scale degree, third, fifth, and eighth, it would sound like this. You could have the class go backwards. You could create a more complicated uh, series of scale degrees with the rhythmic with, with a rhythmic pattern or or two rhythmic patterns. Again, it's it's up to you, but we want to com combine these things in a way that's going to make us make make our fellow classmates and band have to organize that material upstairs and execute it. So it's challenging, but not too challenging that we're spending a whole week learning how to do it. And again, uh, you could. You can present this to class on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, whenever you're ready. Uh, it is due on Friday. 
at least if you're not presenting it to the class on Friday, at least have it written down on a piece of paper uh, to turn in on Friday. Uh, so repetition again, very easy. Rhythm variation, you know, you don't have to stick to the rhythms on the rhythm studies. You can use that as a starting point, and then rather than have this 32 over here, you might put an eighth rest right here. So we'll put an eighth rest in there. So we have a little rhythmic variation, so you can play, play it as is, number 29, with the note there, and then with uh, an eighth rest in there. So it sounds like this. So something like that, uh, you, and again, you, you don't have to stick to just moving straight up our scale. Uh, we can do it backwards. We can use one, three, five, eight, and then go backwards. Uh, one day I tried to have a class use the outers and move in, inward from the outsides where we would have eight, one, seven, two, six, three, five, four. Something crazy like that can be kind of tricky and challenging as well. So think of something creative, uh, have it ready to present to class at least by Friday and if, if we don't have time we'll just have you turn it in and again you can either write it out notationally on the music staff or you can write it out verbally how you want the exercise to go. So I'll see you in class very soon, and thank you for tuning in.